Okay, so I just got to the beach house and technically it does not open until 10, but um, you can park over here. They just told me at the front desk whenever you want. So literally 24 hours a day, I could come over here and park and walk on the beach. So that's kind of nice. I didn't realize that. I probably wouldn't have gotten up early this morning anyway, but I've got my beach bag with all my stuff. But what I'm gonna do first is um, just grab like my ID and my mask and go for a nice walk on the beach. So let's start our day there, okay. Okay, so this is the little like indoor area and there's nobody in here right now, but there's air conditioning in here and you can hang out. And um, Kyle was just telling me that that's a great place to take a nap, but um, I'm gonna just kind of take a look at all the artwork. Look how beautiful. You guys know this decorating style is so up my alley, but the pool is just right out there. Um, Kyle said, it is okay for me to leave my stuff as long as they're not at capacity, which I don't think they're going to be today. I'm parked right out there and the beach is right there. So it really couldn't be any more convenient. There's also a quick service restaurant here. So it's basically just this room, the pool, and then the beach beyond that. So, so fun. <laughs> So I am here at the beach house. Um, I'm just going to be here all day. <laughs> uh, they just came around and brought us free coffee, which I thought was amazingly nice. Um, so I've got free coffee. I've got the pool. Um, I just went for a really, really nice swim. The beach is literally right there behind me. So I'll go back and forth, walk on the beach, come here, have lunch. Um, just delightful and so quiet. I'm assuming it's gonna get busier later. And then normally they have two different food options open over here, but because of the great unpleasantness, they only have the one place, which you can see over there behind my shoulder. And that opens at 11 and I'm gonna grab lunch there and um, just stay here till I don't wanna be here anymore. <laughs> It's gorgeous today. Finally, we have some sun and it's just the perfect day for the pool and the beach, so. Okay, I got to the beach house at 9.45, I think, 
and it is now 3 p.m. and I am headed back to the resort. Oh my gosh, what an amazing day. I will give you guys a little trivia quiz for you to go and look this up. Some of you already know, but Charlie, who is one of my patrons, sent me a message while I was out there saying, check out the flags around the pool. They're not random. Hmm. So we went on a little bit of a quest and uh, me and a few other of the cast members who were not aware either, which I found surprising, we all looked up uh, what the flags represent around the pool and it was super fun. So I'll let you go and research that on your own. But amazing day, um, amazing cast members, chatted with a few fellow members at a six foot distance, of course. Mask were uh, masks were required when you went to the restroom or when you ordered food, but not on the pool deck itself. And then, of course, um, was walking on the beach. And it was just an amazing day. Perfect beach weather. It was, you know, a little bit breezy, but not too bad. And uh, just thoroughly enjoyed myself. So now I'm going to head back. I'm going to shower. I think I'm going to hit the Mexican restaurant for dinner and um, yeah, just see what else I can get up to tonight. But um, super fun day. And the margaritas are very good. I only had one because I am driving and this was a couple of hours ago, but it was really good. So thank you, Beach House. That was fun. Okay, now I showered. Aren't you glad? And I'm headed to the general store because I want a Mickey bar. I have not had a Mickey bar yet. So you can get all kinds of Disney treats here. They have Mickey pretzels, Dole Whips, Mickey ice cream sandwiches, and Mickey bars. So <laughs> look how pretty. So gorgeous. Okay, so I walked next door to the Shelter Cove um, little shopping center and I got takeout from San Miguel's and they give you 10% off if you are staying at the DVC property. So that's kind of nice. So um, yeah, I just didn't, I wasn't really feeling um, eating by myself in a restaurant, although I have no problem doing that. And last night was lovely. Um, I just decided to do takeout tonight. So I'm going to set this up and hopefully it's really good and I can give you guys a great review. I've got a beautiful view behind me. Nice picnic table out here and I'm gonna have some fajitas. I am tired um, from the beach today, like in a good way, good tired, but I'm tired. <laughs> How happy am I right now that I saved the second half of my peanut butter cup dessert from last night? Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. That was such a good decision I made. <laughs> that was amazing. Definitely try San Miguel's if you are in the area. Um, it was a lot of food. It was way too much food, but the veggie fajitas were so, so good. They gave me tons of chips and salsa, and it was like $13, so not bad at all. Really good food, and it was really fun just eating it out here on my little <laughs> private veranda. It's not bad. Okay, you guys, that was a very full and very fun day. I am back in the room. I am all cozied up. Um, I, you know, this trip has been so fast and I have thoughts about traveling right now uh, during the great unpleasantness that I'll probably share as a separate video. So I don't know how many videos this trip report will be because right now as I'm sitting here, I have no idea how much footage I have. So whether it's one video or two videos or three videos, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I gave you guys a lot of fun uh, insights into Hilton Head Island. Um, what I'm thinking is I'm sitting here, so we'll see if, if I'm right. <laughs> We'll see if future Jen is consistent, um, is that I'll do kind of a, a trip vlog video and then a kind of tips and tricks where I'll go more into, you know, specifics of eating and logistics and all of that. But overall, it's just been a fantastic trip. Uh, seeing the ocean was essential for my soul, and I am not overstating that. So grateful for this time. So grateful that I could just, you know, be free for a little while and walking on the beach and all of that. Mm, just amazing. Not that I'm not free at home. I didn't mean it to sound that way, but I think, I think everyone that's going through this, which we're all in this together, knows what I'm talking about. So if you've been dreaming about a trip to Hilton Head, hopefully this has helped. 
definitely can highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get home and edit all of this footage. And I'm really grateful that you guys were along for the journey. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so and make sure you hit that bell notification button so that you don't miss any of my updates. Take really good care of each other and I cannot wait to see you next time.